Pack Nation, we are back for part two of our interview here with three slash four star quarterback commit Cedric Bailey for the class of 2024. If you haven't checked out part one yet, make sure to go back, check that out first and foremost, and then come right back here as we continue on with our conversation here. And so that way you can pick up right where we left off, which is that something that I, I'm i hoping that you know a lot about because I think for me, it's you know, I, I know you know all too well, Cedric. I mean, being in the Florida area, there's a lot of rivalries down there. Yeah. You got, you know, Miami hates Florida. Florida hates Miami. They hate, they both hate Florida State. Florida State hates both of them. <laughs> UCF, USF hate each other. They also all hate them. It's like everybody just doesn't like anybody down there. Well, you know, I know you know all too well, probably, you know, that here at NC State here in Raleigh, we do not like that light blue school down the road yes. uh, by any means necessary. Uh-huh. And then and then it's a little bit if we don't like also ECU down there, which you'll see during your time at State as well. Um, but it's really UNC first and foremost, which yeah. I'm not a fan of for sure. And, uh, you know, talking about since Greg talked about, you know, how you have to be ready. Uh, I mean, I think that one of the biggest feather in the cap set for, you know, if, if uh, like if during your recruitment, if like let's say UNC came at you, mm-hmm. One of the first things that I would rec- re- recommend the coach staff say to the, you is watch the UNC game last year. Our fourth string quarterback just beat your quote unquote Heisman contending quarterback in Drake May. Now, again, it's not necessarily, it's not a one versus one game. That's the thing I have to immediately say in football is it's not, you know, one player versus one player. It's a team game versus a team game. But also, too, statistically, Ben Finley had better stats. Drake then Drake May and literally for the first couple of weeks of the season Ben Finley was really on the scout team running the other team's offenses for the defense I mean just saying yeah. uh so I mean I mean have you watched that game I mean does I mean does that I, I, that has to be a little bit as a quarterback man being like hey like that's that that's that's what's up right there I actually did watch that game um it was really it was a really good game uh type yeah. game um yeah. well, I'm asking that uh, NC State we was really, we was real physical, really, really physical. But um, you can see it, it looked a little soft now. I ain't gonna lie, they looked a little soft. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, and, and I mean, because did you ever hear from UNC at all? Uh, I mean, I, I don't. I, yeah. yeah. Okay. And my, and my running back, he's committed there, so I talk to him every day about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! I love that. I love that. Okay. So, okay. so, so speaking of uh, running backs, you just got a running mate there today, yeah. in Jaden yeah. Scott. Uh, yeah. yeah. Have you have you talked to him at all? Like, have you been in communications? With each of other? course, of course, I talk to him. <laughs> we we talk a lot. Um, I actually we actually uh, seen each other at a tournament, a seven on seven tournament uh, in Phoenix. Uh, we uh, got got to even talk to you more. So, uh, that's my guy. Yeah, All and right, then uh, speaking of guys, like we talked to Assad Brown last week. He said he kind of talked to you at least, I think, once yeah. or twice. And uh, mm-hmm. Cannon Lewis is another one that we mentioned earlier that we've interviewed. Uh, is there anyone else? Uh, I heard that Assad is uh, recruiting. Um, uh, what's the wide receiver there, Leighton, there in, from North Carolina? Uh, the, Taylor? No, which one? Taylor? No, no, no. It begins with a P. Oh. Jordan Taylor? Yeah, Taylor. That's Jordan. it. Taylor? Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. Terrell Anderson too. Yeah, you've been talking to okay. those guys, trying to get them on board. Sir, of course. All right, so 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 you're already stepping up in a leadership role, whether you want to admit it or not. Yeah. You, you're not even on the field yet. So, uh, uh, <laughs> what 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 is that? Uh, how how important is that to start kind of talking to these individuals and just getting to know your class, right? Because you kind of will all be going in uh, bright eyed and bushy tailed, and um, kind of will need to lean on one another when you get on campus. Uh, it is very important to uh, get to know the guys I'm be playing with. Um, get a get a group of guys for our 24 class because um, that's that's what I'm going to be with. That's what we're going to be rocking with. We need those guys. We need everybody we can get. So <laughs> yeah, and and, uh, and I don't know if this is something what you're considering. You know, I'm, I'm sure you've already considered whatever it may be. But uh, have you already considered enrolling early as well? Uh, you know, in the spring. Yes, sir. I, I really do consider. I am in the room early, actually. So. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Good deal. Mm-hmm. Sweetness. Yeah, no, and, and again, I think, uh, you know, with that quarterback room we have, I mean, you, you're you going to have a lot of guys to learn from very quickly, which is going to be awesome. Yeah. And because and, 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 and I think that's one thing, too, you know, that's, you know, it's kind of a dying breed, unfortunately, too, is it's like instead of looking at these guys as competition, which, I mean, they are. I mean, sure. I mean, you want to go beat them out for the starting job for sure. 
But then day two, I mean, you know, it's like, hey, learn from each other. Like, you know, then they were a team and we want to go win a AC championship. We want to go win a national championship. Yep. We want to go beat UNC. Iron like, sharpens iron. Day, iron sharpens iron. Like, but this is this is a team sport here. Like at the end of the day, you know, uh, go get done. And I got that in the Q, in the QB meeting. I, I got that. Um, those guys really cool with each other. They, they enjoy being around each other. So they want to win. I, I could tell. I could see it in the eye. They want to win. So. Was, yeah, because yeah. you because you were there. If I, correct me if I'm wrong, it was during spring practice, right? Like, yes, sir. yeah, yeah. That's what I figured. That's what I figured. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so I, I know you said you're going to have a, an official visit here in June. Um, is the plan to try to make it back up to Carter Finley during the fall when maybe if you have an off week or something, to yeah. catch, a, to catch a ball game? Yes, yes, of course. I, I need to see one of your biggest games. Your biggest games. Um, what, what would be a big one like Clemson? Or, uh, Clemson, yeah. Carolina, Notre Dame will be big. Um, yeah, I mean, here's the thing that you're going to find real quick. Even when we play VMI, that place will be sold out and rocking. Like, you don't have to worry about the fans showing up. So uh, mm-hmm. maybe maybe intensity-wise it would be one of those games. But I promise you, sure. you come to any game, Carter Finley will be there, and they'll be supporting wearing our red and white. Yeah, actually, if if I um the spring game, it wasn't raining and everything. I feel like it would, they would have been oh. packed. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'd have probably had twenty thousand or so. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, that was just that was just some <laughs> nasty weather, and it was crazy because the day before it was like seventy five degrees and sunny. Yeah. So it was just one of those crazy things. But no, that's yeah. the one thing that um you know win or lose, NC State will show up for football season. So. Hundred percent, hundred percent. So, uh, you know, kind of talk to me in terms of, uh, you know, uh, you know, your expectations come to stay. I know that, you know, because one of the things which I love about the program right now is it almost seems like there's a swagger in NC State football right now. That's like, even though we haven't won the AC championship yet, it's almost like everybody, whether it's the coaching staff, the players, even the recruits, are like. Yeah, no, we're going to win one. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Like, and it's, and it's not like in 10 years from now, like, it's going to happen here very, very soon. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, there's almost like literally a swagger, which I love right now. Um, but I mean, so, I mean, I, I know you could give me definitely the pro typical answer of like, yeah, no, when, we're going to win an AC <laughs> championship. You know, we're going to go for a national championship. But, you know, do you have any, you know, like, you know, coming into state, do you have personal goals and, and team goals that you kind of give me? Um, you just you just said the biggest one, but um, yeah, yeah. No, hey, you know I want to win the rivalry game. That's, that, that's one of them. Um, yeah. I actually have like personal goals for myself. I want to be the number one leading quarterback in passing yards and touchdowns. Everything I want to, I want to be great. I just want to see all my my draft stock go up. I just want to see everything go up. So, yeah. All right. Good deal. Yeah. No. It, it, again, it, it's a it's a process, say the least, right? But hey, that's the fun part, and I, and especially with what uh, you know, Dorn's been doing. Uh, you know, he's been able to to bring in some great guys that he's been able to develop into you know some great great talent for sure. So, uh, kind of talk to me in terms of uh, you know because because we've 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 only been able to see really the. Uh, um, you know, the, uh, the, the spring game, because the, the spring practices were closed off to media, but kind of talk to me, you know, what, what really has stood out about a nice offense to you compared to other offenses you've seen? Um, the main thing that stood out to me is no matter what he's, he's going to throw the ball. They're, they're going to throw the ball and they're going to be aggressive with it. And those, those guys, they, they make plays, especially on the defensive side. Defense is crazy. How many turnovers they had again? It was like three or four. What in the spring game? Yeah, yeah it was yeah, a couple. Yeah. Of, and plus, it was, it was even though it was raining and it was wet and everything. I still like that the defense they came to play and they had the energy and everything. So, yeah, I think they had uh, two interceptions and two fumble recoveries. If yeah, if memory serves me correctly. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. just a great defense. And so that's the other thing is. Before you even get on the field for a Saturday, you got to fight through that defense, and so that yeah. defense alone will make you better, right? Yeah. And it'll make you, it'll make you read defenses. Uh, what, uh, when you've been talking to some of the coaches, like Coach Roper and maybe a Coach and I, and even Coach Dorn, anything that they're talking to you that they kind of want to see you kind of either work on or you know, not necessarily obviously that's going to interfere with your 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 senior season, but just on your off time. Um, hey, not 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 much. They didn't really say anything hey. I need to work on. So yeah, cool. Okay. 
then you're ready to rock and roll, man. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's go for it, man. Yeah. I love it. And, 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 and kind of talk to me too, Cedric, in terms of what are you most excited about, you know, getting to campus, you know, like, and I know that like, you know, just kind of help you out the, you know, a big answer typically is like the first time coming out of the tunnel, you know, for your first home game, like that's a pretty big one, but you know, would, would you kind of echo that or would you add anything else to that? Um, probably the most excited, the most exciting moment that I would want to have is when we actually run out of that after we run out and do everything. I want to see my my parents and my family in the stands and give them a little wave and show them. Awesome. And I'll be happy that they're here. That you so. made it. That you made it right. Before we continue, I want to take a quick second to tell you about our sponsor, Flatlands Dress Up Insurance Group, that has our whole world covered with agents in five offices throughout Eastern North Carolina to help you decide how much coverage you need. Offering policies for home and auto, recreational vehicles, commercial, crop, health, life, and employee benefits. They are able to combine options to find a comprehensive solution that works for you. Flatlands Dress Up protects the things you love so you can spend less time wearing and more time enjoying them. Find them on Facebook and Instagram at Flatlands Dress Up. You can also visit their webpage at www.flatlandsdressup.com. So please make sure to go and check them out. So, so you just mentioned your 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 parents there. How how much of a role did they play in your recruitment uh, or, rec- or your recruiting journey, if you will? Did they kind of just step back and let you do your thing? You know, you were just you know you would maybe sound questions off of them and ask for advice. Uh, how involved were they? Um, they they consider uh, NC State, but it was really my choice. They stepped back and let me do it and let me decide, but. They play a good role in, you know, talking me to like. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Just give you pros yeah. and cons and make sure you got all everything that you were looking for out of that school, yeah. right? Um, and then I guess my follow up: uh, Have you decided on a major yet? I know, I know, you at least get you through high school, but uh, anything that at NC State that stood out from the academic side of the house to um, maybe that helped help seal the deal for you? Uh, the en- the engineering part of it. Um, they had a. <laughs> <laughs> up in his face. Yeah, Layton, Layton is an yeah, engineer, so major, you just baby, made his go. day. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, so so uh, not necessarily sure which engineering get, but definitely engineering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, gotcha. Let's go. All right, and I, I will I will be honest with you too, saying I mean, balancing engineering and being a former full time football player, it's no easy feat, man. But hey, listen, if you can do that, dude. Hey, he's the quarterback. I mean, he's the hey. most smart player, most most smartest <laughs> player on the field. Hey, I'm not doubting at all. Hey, but I, hey, I, I'm just saying, even for me, I mean, again, I, I was balancing being, I, I barely got through it being a en- chemical engineering major and being a football equipment manager. So, you know, I didn't have the full schedule y'all did, but most of it. And I, I literally was just football, school, that's it. Eat, sleep, and that was it. Well, I'm, I'm here to take on a challenge. You know, that's me. I, I like taking risks. I like doing everything. So I, I, I love the challenge. I love it. There you go. Hey, if, if if state's paying for it, dude, yeah. I mean, you're getting an you're getting an engineering flight. degree from one yeah. from one, if not the top institutions in the country. Simple as that. So, I mean, would not blame you one bit. So, uh, you know, absolutely. Uh, so, you know, kind of now I wanted to kind of switch over to some, some fun questions. Yes, I'm here. ready so, for the fun ones. I got some. Let's go. Yeah. So, first question and foremost, and this this is going to really determine like a lot here. Have you had Howling Cow yet? Yes or no? No. Okay. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Hey, okay. we're going to set him right. up for the perfect all right. visit. All right. Yeah. No, the perfect visit. That, that's we we gonna got happen, him, man. Do, do you know what Howling Cow is? No, I have no idea. Oh, no. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, all he right, was there okay. on a business trip. For <laughs> yeah. I agree. Hey, I'm, hey, I get that. Hey, that that's cool. But yeah, hey, no, Howling we, Cow is, is our homemade uh, ice cream that's really made. Oh, the school. they showed me that when I um, they okay. showed me that when I went inside. But I never, I never had anything of that okay. area. But I know what it is. I actually know what it is. You just fresh in my memory. Yes. I, okay. But I don't know. I never had any of it. All right. Okay. So for me, right. my first fun question: Madden or NCAA football? College football. NCAA. NCAA. Okay. Okay. So 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 you you're ready for that 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 new NCAA game to come back out? It's coming back out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. I might play that every day. <laughs> you're gonna be in the game. <laughs> I mean, hey, yeah, hey, no, again, I, I'm look, I'm looking forward. To hey, it, and man. if you're not a 99, you're gonna make yourself a 99, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be a 99. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, and then uh, being in. Uh, you know, Miami, this might be kind of an easy question, but, uh, you know, being that you're coming to North Carolina, maybe it's something they'd be more interested in. But if you had a choice, would you go to the beach 
or would you want to go to the mountains? The beach. All right, cool. All right. Just want to make sure. All just right. Just want to see if you shock the world. Favorite sport not named football? Like Basketball. That. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, are you going to give Coach Keats a call? Be like, hey, Coach. <laughs> I mean, I mean you're 6'6". Six, six. I mean, you can play guard. No problem. I would. <laughs> I would. Yeah. You'd be like Charlie Ward, right? I don't know right? would let him, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know if Coach Norman would let him do that. But, you know, <laughs> hey, if, if if it needs to be, then, you know, it, it'll happen for sure. Um, cool. Favorite and NFL then, team. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good question. Rams, L.A. Rams? Really? Why Rams? <laughs> L.A. Rams. You got a team like 20 minutes from your house. <laughs> Dolphins, bro, they suck, bro. They just do the same thing every year. They just get to the playoffs and lose. But I mean, do you? I mean, because I, I mean, I see two uh, as kind of like, I mean, he's a guy that's not, I would call him a dual threat, but I would call him the same thing. I would call him a guy that is primarily a pocket passer, but he can't run the ball if need be. So, I mean, not, not, not so saying, hey, look, like, you know, you got a guy in the mirror right here, but I'm saying, I mean, if, if, if it's just so crazy to me that he actually was considering retirement. I don't know if y'all yeah, I was going to say that. that. Speaking of two, he was talking about retirement. I mean, which I don't blame him one bit. I mean, when he I when he keeps bit. calling himself Tuna instead of Tua, he doesn't even know his own name. So the concussions are probably taking an effect. So, <laughs> all right, I got two more hey. football questions for you. All right, and they're both NFL. Uh, yep. Favorite NFL quarterback? It can be past or present, and then favorite non quarterback player can be past or present. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna start with the non quarterback player, in which okay. maybe Jalen Ramsey. And, okay, there's the Rams. Rams connection. Got it. My favorite quarterback, past the present, because like, I mean, there's only one correct answer. So let's let's see if you pass. Well, I mean, no, no it, it doesn't have to be Philip no. Rivers even. It no, 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 no. I was talking about Tom Brady. What are you talking about? No. No. What? No. no it, that, but we're talking his favorite. We're talking his favorite. We didn't talk about the greatest. We talked about his he's favorite. Good, but he's not my favorite. It's probably right now. It is the Sean Watson. I don't care. It's the Sean Watson. That's okay. 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 All right. Hey, well, but again, man, once 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 you're here, man, and you know, and once you see Death Valley for that first time, man, <laughs> then then we're gonna have to look right past it. This is where Deshaun Watson played, and we're gonna have to go and Whoop their, you know what? His own field. Saying, yeah, you know? yeah. We're gonna whoop it there. You know what's on their own field, man. So, but hey, I get that for sure. Um, so uh, cool. And then, um, uh, <laughs> so what would you say your favorite? What would you say your favorite uh, cuisine is? In terms of Italian, Mexican, barbecue. Probably barbecue. Okay, are you coming to the really? right state for it then? You're coming to the right state, man. Exactly right. Yeah, there's there's a lot of great barbecue joints around NC State for sure. So definitely gotta look. And I and hey, Doran, I know has had his fair share of barbecue too. So all you do is tell Doran, go take him some barbecue. He'll, yeah, he'll yeah, yeah. He'll right probably he'll probably right. he'll probably point you to those off the off the beaten path places, and those are always the best. So mm, yes, yes, old time barbecue. That's 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 where it is for me. But you know, that's not a sponsor. So <laughs> <laughs> want to make that clear. Um, all right, and then. Uh, <laughs> Let me see. Greg, you got, you got any good ones? I, I, I have I have one last question, and so I'll save that right for the for the end. But um yeah. Okay. Well what one more funny thing. Have have you uh have you do you guys already wear because I know one of the biggest things that I always heard a ton of feedback about from players was having to wear that big oh, the, uh, the padding helmet. You know, the cushion. Yeah, they have the cushion helmet. You know, being like, dude, those things look goofy as you know what. But it's like, hey, listen, they're not meant to look good. They're meant to do a purpose, man. Mm -hmm. Have you already wrapped your head around the, with, wearing that big globe on your head, man? Actually, like, when I was at practice, when I was at the practice, it was like, I didn't like how it looked. It looked so big. <laughs> but, like, if DC State had like the pad, it's like it's like it's hard. It looked it hard, but if they had like mm -hmm. pads around it, it probably looked way better. Yeah. Oh, again, I mean, hey, at least now they like because used to they didn't put like anything on the sides or the tops, but now they at least put like the logo. It looks know, like a regular helmet. Yeah. Side, so it looks like halfway decent. So yeah. 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 Now again, hey, it's not meant to be pretty. It's meant to serve. Yeah, purpose, keep your noggin yeah, no. intact. So exactly, exactly. All right, Greg, finish this up. Yeah. Man, so you last question. All right. So. We've, we've had a lot of fun, but I want you to look in the camera right now and tell Wolfpack Nation what they can expect from you and what you're looking forward from them. 
Um, with Pac Nation, <laughs> you're going to expect a leader, a, a great role model, a great person, um, and a winner. That's what you're going to mainly expect. And I know, I know you, you the NC State fans, I know y'all like winning. So I'm, I'm, I'm here to, to, to help you guys out with that. And I, like I want to, I want to win the championship. That's what, that's my main goal. And if you, if everybody, if anybody want to check, like what I, what I did back then, well, it really doesn't matter, but you could tell that I win. I'm a winner. That's all I want to do. So you're expecting the winner from me. That's all you're going to, that's all you're going to get. Leighton, I don't know about you, but I think that's a, that's a perfect way to close this interview. I agree, man. I agree. Well, first of all, Cedric, thank you so, so much again for your time, man. Really do appreciate you coming on. Mm -hmm. uh, excited to have you back in Raleigh uh, here soon, man. And, uh, you know, again, let's let's build this 2024 class into an awesome one so we get some great guys around you. Mm -hmm. And uh, looking forward to having you in the in the red and white, man. Yeah. So thanks again for your time, brother. Thank you again for having me. <laughs> Absolutely, man. And uh, again, Wolfpack Nation, make sure all of his uh, links to his uh, social media is in the description below. So make sure to go and give this man a follow. Check him, check him out for sure. For us, would really appreciate that. And then for us, make sure again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and give us a follow. Tuffy Talk down on Twitter, Instagram. Thank you so much, y'all, and go pack, baby. Oh.